Oh yeah, check it out guys. This is a special six pound burrito here in Los Angeles. Some people say this is the biggest burrito that you can find in LA. Do you think one person can actually eat this whole thing? I'm gonna try. So stay tuned if you wanna see the results. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. This is Steve from Rockstar Eater coming to you with another rockin' episode. And I'm out here in Boyle Heights, which is east of downtown Los Angeles. Now out here, there's really not that many acclaimed restaurants, but there is one special spot behind me that I think is worth checking out. As you guys know, I'm starting like this little uh, food challenges series in which I discover and go out and try some of the best eating challenges I can find in LA. And this Mexican restaurant is known for its huge burrito. It's like a six pound burrito that's 13 inches long. It's for two to four people, although some people have finished it as part of an eating challenge. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go and see if I can finish this whole burrito or how much of it I can get through. So if you guys wanna see what's possibly the biggest burrito that you can find in Los Angeles, you've come to the right episode. So stick all the way to the end of this show so that you can see me try to kill this enemy of mine, which is this 13 inch, six pound burrito. And if you're new to this channel, take a moment right now to hit that subscribe button, as well as the notification bell, because I put out these food and travel videos weekly that you don't wanna miss out on. So go ahead, do that right now. And in the meantime, I'm gonna go into the kitchen and see how this special burrito is made. So guys, this is Jay right here. He's a general manager here at El Tabayac restaurant and he's gonna show us all how to make this special, huge burrito that we're gonna make. So Manuel special, right? Yes, sir. All right, let's do this. Let's do this. All right, so it begins by toasting the tortillas and they're huge. These burrito skins. 12 inch. 12 inch. First one's going in. These are all the beans. Mm-mm. Yeah, spread them on so generously. And there's a lot of rice in there as well. Look at all that rice. It's like a, so much rice in there. Woo! Some guacamole. Wow, and this is all the pork, right? Yep. All right, so I got mine with pork. That's the original? Yeah. Ooh, wow, this thing is, yeah, it's big, I can tell. And then kind of finishes it off with some cheese, some cheddar cheese on top. It is, like I said, about six pounds. It is an extremely heavy burrito. And how long is it? How wide is it? Well, today I brought a measuring tape, so I guess I can see. Let's see, about 13, is it? Yeah, about like 13 inches. It's a pretty big burrito, yikes. Yeah. So yeah, I'm gonna try to kill this whole thing within an hour. Now, if you were to order this burrito here, it costs about, okay, so this particular one, I'm paying $35. So $35 for this burrito, but definitely check the website for most updated prices. There's no official eating challenge here, so it's not like you eat something and then you can get a free t-shirt. I'm just kind of making up my own challenge. So I just wanna see how much of this burrito I can eat within one hour. And by the way, I do wanna also let you know that there are other things on the menu as well. So don't come here and think that this burrito is the only thing that they got. They have, like I said, all your traditional Mexican foods here that comes in the regular portions for like a normal person. So go on the website to see what else they have on this menu if you decide you wanna to come to this historic restaurant in Boyle Heights. But for today, I am gonna to try to kill this special thing because this is the highlight of Los Angeles right here. So before I start to really pig out on this thing, I think I wanna at least try what this tastes like so I can just see whether I'm gonna be tasting something that's you know good. You're probably wondering what it tastes like. Hmm, it's tender. It's tender and I love all the sauce that's over it. That kind of tastes like a tomato sauce in some ways. So you see that there's a lot of pork on top of it, but then there's a lot more pork inside. Pork, beans, avocado, cheese, just all inside, buried inside all of this tortilla.
I feel like a lot of what's inside here is like filler food, all the rice and guacamole and beans. But it does taste pretty good though. I especially love the cheesiness of this whole thing. The pork definitely delicious. Well, so far I'm enjoying it. I think I can do this. What do you guys think? All right, there's still so much more to eat, but it looks like I already finished off about maybe two and a half inches worth of this burrito. I really wish this burrito was made up entirely of this pork right here, like pork and some cheese. That would be quite a carnivore eating experience. But well, I'm gonna continue. Let me see if I can shave off a few more inches into my body. I'm already running out of breath in this race. Oh no. See, I would never survive in a marathon either. But apparently some people have finished this whole burrito. Yeah. I got no choice. I have to chill. Maybe take like a 20 minute break or something. I need a second win, you know what I'm saying? I just can't continue on and just eat a stray like this. But the good news is I already finished about three inches worth of burrito. So I believe that probably is the size of a typical burrito that you would order in a restaurant. That's gotta count for something, right? Can I get like a third place? Bronze medal or something like that? I think I'm ready to do it. So this is kind of like round two going on here. You know what would be so cool is, I just thought of it right now. Have you guys ever seen that Korean drama Squid Game where they had to play all those games in order to save their life? Wouldn't it be so cool if an eating challenge was one of the games on Squid Game where they have to finish like a whole burrito or you know, a whole just, something really huge within an hour in order to not get eliminated. <laughs> I just wonder if that was me in this show, would I be able to do it? Like, could I actually do it if my life was on the line like that? Maybe you can, I don't know. What about you guys? I'd love to hear your comments, type it below. Love to hear if you've ever done an eating challenge, if you've ever won it, and what kind of game did you play? But better yet, tell me where exactly did you play it? Which restaurant? All right, enough talking. Uh, 19 more minutes. Let's do this. Let's do this. Hopefully there is a nice second win within me I know I shouldn't be drinking any coke or any liquid, but it tastes so boring without something on the side whether it's chips or soda water or something what is this like eight more inches so it's almost about 50 percent maybe i can do it 10 minutes there's still hope right oh actually you know what no forget it i'm done i can sit here for three four more hours to try to do this i don't think i'm gonna do it. so i'm gonna toss in my white towel or should i say my white paper towel I surrender. That was pretty intense. Uh, just once again, I wanna let you guys know that this isn't part of any official eating challenge. This is just another item that's on the menu. And this one you should share with about two to four people. Very few people can eat this one all by itself. Very few. Me, I was able to get through about five inches of this 13 inch burrito. So maybe about, I would say, 40% of it, something like that. But man, that's a lot. That's To me, that's eating like a big burrito. Just five inches of all this meat and beans and cheese and guacamole. Whoa. Yeah, so I don't know. If you guys want to try this challenge, it's really quite a challenge to try. If you're into burritos, you probably will enjoy this because like I said, you don't really find too many burrito challenges in Los Angeles and this is one of very few, if not the only restaurant that has a burrito of this size, yikes. And you know what? I heard that you can actually ask for a burrito that's bigger than this if you want to feed like eight people. Uh, <laughs> I don't know if I want to be eating burritos in quite some time, but anyways, I mean, it did taste pretty good, but like with any other food, when you get full, you just know you're done, you're done. 
So anyways, if you wanna check out this burrito here in Los Angeles in Boyle Heights, remember El Tepayac Restaurant, where you can get this burrito and you can get a whole lot of other really great Mexican foods as well. So anyways, thank you so much for watching this episode of Rockstar Eater. If you enjoyed what I'm doing on the show, give me a thumbs up, comment on the section below if you've tried this food before, and subscribe so you can get these foods on a weekly basis. And I am going to be doing some more food challenges in the next few weeks, so watch out for those. Have a great day, and I'll see you in the next episode.